I want to speak of transcendence. What do you think transcendence might mean? Looked up the root of it. It has something to do with surpassing, outdoing, surmounting, to move beyond. And there's a literal meaning that the word has had, which is to climb over or up, transcend. To me, implied in the word transcend is the word ascend. Ascend. We surmount something. We come out beyond the confines of it because we ascend above it. I would like to read from the same psalm I referenced last week, which is Psalm 24. And here's how it goes. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? Ascending the hill of the Lord. Last week we were speaking of all the ways that our language can acknowledge that the divine is not only up there someplace, out there someplace, but is within us. Within us. So we spoke about words for that, names for that, the wonderful one within, the one who dwells, the God being within, the angel. All kinds of ways of acknowledging it. Here's another one. The higher self. Speaking of altitude. There are all the senses of self, the parts of self in the human psyche. And there's a higher self. There is that self in which all dimensions of self live and without which they can't integrate. So what does this mean? I was thinking about what this, ver this verse has meant to people over centuries. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Well, who? It's a good question. I think people breeze by it. It makes a wonderful reading. Um, but who? Who does ascend into the hill of the higher self? Isn't, isn't there an acknowledgement that there is something within us that was planted there by the higher self that actually is the higher self? And it is only that. Only that which can ascend to the place of true sovereignty into the hill of the Lord. Yes, isn't that how it works? Only that dimension of ourselves. And who shall stand in his holy place? In the place in which the higher self lives? Seems like a pretty obvious answer to me, right? Only the higher self can stand in the place of the higher self. You can't drag up some human personality and, and, and uh, propose that that dimension of our human personality stand in the place of the higher self. We are standing in the, in, in the place of the higher self. You might even say, as the higher self. As I was meditating upon this earlier, it got comical. So you ascend into the hill of the Lord, and what happens? You, you ascend up there. Do you, like, meet the Lord there? It's like, hey, I'm Dave, you know. Um, good to see you up here. That's not really the picture I get. That's not what's happening. We don't get, get up there and say hi to God or something. No, we stand in the place of. We stand as. We stand as the higher self. We ascend the hill of the Lord and stand in the place of the higher self. And how does that happen? 
Is it not because we look up? We look up, meaning that we are opening ourselves to the drawing power of the higher self. We're opening our heart, our psyche to that. We're, if we're ascending, it's not just because we're getting in our steps, we're working hard to climb up that hill, keep running up that hill. We're being actually drawn up. We are ascending because we're drawn up and we're drawn up because we're faced in that direction and there's an attractive power to what is in the hill of the Lord. There's an attractive power. When we open to it with heart and mind, we are drawn up to that place. And being drawn up, We see the world from the mountaintop. We're there not to ignore ourselves, our our immediate world, and the world at large. No, ascension in in our awareness and experience of ourselves is so that we can be in a place where we can provide First of all, for ourselves and our own psyche and for the world in which we live, the people and the people in that world. We are from that place in touch with the powers of creation that feed the human world, that nurture the human world, that nurture our own soul. From that place, we bring the power of universal love to the human heart. In and through our own heart to the hearts of others. And from that place, we bring the patterns of creation into the world, into our world. The patterns of the unfolding design of life. We're open to let that come through and express itself for for ourselves and for our world. Do you ever long to have that kind of a conversation with other people? Where it's not, no, I I don't want just the surfacey thing. I don't want you just touting some particular slogan or or idea. And I don't want to do that myself. I want to I want to have the deeper conversation about the whole thing here so that we can see the whole picture and know the whole thing. I don't want to go off half cocked with some idea that I get all excited about that isn't the whole pattern of what is supposed to unfold in my life and my world. I want to see the whole thing. I want to share the whole thing with you. And then I want to bring the intelligence of that whole thing into the world in which we live. 